One, two, three, four. Hello and welcome to Funk, Furman University's daily news show. Today is Wednesday, February 20th, 2019, and I'm Eric. And I'm Mary Paisley. In today's news, 16 states are suing President Trump's use of his emergency powers to build his wall. Those states claim that the President Trump's allocation of money for his wall is unconstitutional because it is Congress that controls money and spending. In other news, the weather for today will feature showers with a high of 42 and a low of 40. <laughs> the department is entering its second and final week of performing Rhett Bryson's production, The Diviners. Set in rural Indiana that in the early 1930s, Jim Leonard Jr.'s 1980 play is marked by a period of regionalism that is almost fol folkloric in tone. If you haven't seen it yet, there will be shows in this Thursday throughout Sunday at the Playhouse. FUSAB will be holding a food truck at the Milford Mall this Friday starting at 1130. Some of the food trucks in attendance will be One Love Fusion Foods, The Chuck Truck, We Got Beats, and Cocoa Bowls. All the food is free and supplies will be limited, so come on out and have some amazing food this Friday. The baseball team will be just as busy as the softball teams as they have a bunch of games ahead of them. To start, they'll take, in, take on LaSalle this weekend with the best of three series with Friday's game at 5 p.m., while Saturday and Sunday's games will be at 1 p.m. Then on next Wednesday, the team takes on UNC Asheville at 5 p.m. All the baseball team's games will be at Latham Baseball Stadium. Men's tennis will take on Appalachian State this Saturday at 1 p.m. in the Mickle Tennis Center. The lacrosse teams will get their respective times to shine on Sunday. To start, the ladies will take on Vanderbilt at noon. Then at 2, the men will take on Hampton. If you know anyone on the men's golf team, make sure you wish them luck over this weekend as they will be heading off to Hilton Head for the Wexford Plantation Intercollegiate Tournament from the 24th to the 26th. They'll be fighting against numerous colleges across the area like Akron, Dartmouth, High Point, and Wofford to come out on top. <laughs> Furman Softball will be hosting its Invitational this weekend as the team looks to claim five victories over the weekend. To start the weekend on Friday, the team starts their two-game series with Towson at 5 p.m. and then takes on Stony Brook at 7 p.m. Then on Saturday, as they start their second game series against Tennessee Tech at 5 p.m., they will try to finish off Towson at 7. Finally, on Sunday, they wrap up their series with Tennessee Tech at 1. All of these games will take place at Pepsi Stadium. <laughs> Wofford might just be in for a world of hurt this weekend, as both basketball teams will take them on this Saturday. While the women's team will play them in their territory at 2 p.m., the men, with the support of the fellow Paladins, will tip off at 4 in the Timmins Sports Arena. This will also be the last home game of the season for the men's basketball team, so try to come out and support them if you can. And if you can't, the game will be on ESPN3 and ESPN+. We've been announcing it all week, and it's finally time for FUSAB's Toast and Jams event. Head on out to hear all of Furman's musical talents in Watkins' rooms at Trone tomorrow at 6 p.m. There will be an Oscar watch party in Trone from 8 to 11 in Trone Hill Atrium. There will be free food, photo opportunities, and activities, along with a showing of this year's Oscars awards ceremony. That's all we have for today, Paladins. Make sure to check out our website, www can'tstopthefunk.com to submit announcements and watch all of our previous episodes. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Instagram and Twitter to keep up with everything that's happening on Furman's campus. Have a sweet National Cherry Pie Day and tune in again on Friday for our next episode. <laughs>